Yo, 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 it's your boy Dragons of Thunder, and I'm back live and direct with another video, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow uh, Ohana Dragons and Blackthorn Dragons on Instagram. Also, my boy Boss Dragons. Go follow Boss Dragons on Instagram, man. Blackthorn Dragons on deck. Um, anyway, man, today's video and topic will be about hydration. Now, I will, at the, at the very beginning of this video, I will tell you exactly the most powerful way to hydrate your bearded dragon. It's Pedialyte with zinc. Unflavored Pedialyte with zinc. Um, you will have to understand how much to give them and things like that. So stay tuned for that and I will tell you. Um, but before we jump into that, also water bowls, I'm going to talk about that and baths. Um, just a glimpse of what's going to happen in this video. Before we go there, follow my Instagram at Dragons of Thunder. Once we hit 1.5K followers, I will be giving away a 4 x 2 x 2 with a basking fixture and a um, chi fixture. So you will get a basking and a chi fixture and two vents, two big vents. I will mail that out to you free of charge. Nobody pays for the shipping. I will cover the shipping. So you get the free tank fixtures and no shipping charge to you. So go follow my Instagram and then I will announce that once we hit 1.5. Until then, go to grubterror.com. Grubterror.com, you go there, you go to the site, you pick you out what you want, and you use my code Dragons of Thunder 10. All lowercase. Dragons of Thunder 10. Dragon, Dragons of Thunder 10. Grubterror.com. Go get you some. Clean water bowl. Clean water bowl. That's your boy Aang. <clears throat> this girl, Naga. I mean Azula been ducked off in her cave. Ain't that right, Azula? Fresh water. And my boy E Ray, fresh water. And of course, Naga, fresh water. Um, so let's talk about this video. Hydration. <clears throat> a lot of people are against um a lot of people are against um thank you, Blackthorn, for sending this F10 over a while ago. Um I use it on my bowls and things like that. Um since I have bioactive, I don't do anything inside of the tank. Um only thing I do is um, I flip through my substrate, sift it out um, every six months to a year. Um, anyway, <clears throat> hydration. So a lot of people are against um, water bowls being in the um, enclosure with the bearded dragon. That right there to me is a problem for people to continue to say that. Um, we have um, genetically modified dragons. We have fairy tale dragons. We have myself who all have kept bearded dragons outside in kind of high humidity. Um, you know, 43% um, humidity on this side, 43% and then 13% over there. So on my, on my basking side, my humidity is always low, around 10 to 15%. On my cool side, it ranges from 28 to 58, somewhere in there, depending if I spray the substrate. Because I do have a, I do have a cleanup crew inside of this, inside of all my tanks, as you can see. You know, I got isopods in there, so I have to keep my substrate a little wet. You know, not soaking wet. Let's see if she'll show, move. Not soaking wet, but um, dairy cows, stuff like that, some seeds, but um. I don't keep my substrate soaking wet, but I do mist it every day, you know what I mean? And um, matter of fact, right now, I can show you that, how I do it. I'll spray around the tree sometimes, sometimes I don't. I'll spray around the water bowl is the main point. So make sure my isopods get their moisture, and then I'll spray like certain parts of wood, you know what I mean? Uh, that back rock. Look. I so pie, I so pie. But anyway, the main purpose of this video is to talk about hydration. So water bowls are fine within your enclosure. I will tell you out of all my experience and what I've seen, 
bearded dragons will not use their water bowl unless they are really, really hot. Like um, during the summer, um, my girl Azula and E-Ray, I seen Naga do it like once or twice, but mainly Azula, man, she'll go get in this water bowl. I want her to come out, but I don't, are you hot? Huh? I dropped your temp, man, it's 101.7. I dropped your temp, won't you come out that uh that cave? You was outside yesterday, no? I don't. I haven't been recording Azula and E-Ray because they've been hiding this guy. Look at him. That's his head right there. Boom. You see him? He's in there laying down. Ain't that right, E-Ray? You in there laying down, buddy? But uh, yeah, man. Um, I haven't been recording them because they've been hiding and stuff like that. But we got my boy. Um, what's this dude's name? Aang. He's doing great. Fang's doing great. <laughs> So the number one way to keep your bearded dragon hydrated is a water bowl. So with that said, y'all see I have extra, extra large uh, Rep T rocks, which is from ZooMed. I do keep those in all of my big dragons enclosure. So that's a big old water bowl. Boom. Like I say, they don't really use it. Boom. So cool. All right. How I my main way to keep my bearded dragons hydrated is their diet and really that should be this is ticking me off what you didn't got in here girl um honestly man that's really the main way anybody should be hydrating their bearded dragon is their diet so when you feed your mustard greens collard greens turnip greens and uh stuff like that you need to make sure that those greens are moist you wet those uh greens in a sink you let them sit, or you can spray them. Put them in the bowl, and while they're moist, make sure your dragon is eating those greens up, you know, with the water on it. Um, that's most of their hydration, man. They really don't need a lot of water. They just don't, you know what I'm saying? It's not, <clears throat> that's not a myth. That's not, that's not, uh, that's not baloney. You know what I'm saying? It's scientific. But um, the greens, then, uh, ooh, I think one of them, yep, one of them escaped. Um, those are for uh, Fang. But um, anyway, I'm finna feed Fang and Aang some supers, and I'm gonna let y'all watch. But anyway, um, dang, what was I saying? Oh, within the diet, the greens, make sure they're moist, and then within your bugs, um, like, oh, look at that guy. Where you going? Huh? You know you been a bad boy. Get back over there. But um, your bugs, you have to make sure you um, gut load your bugs. You know what I'm saying? I love those isopods. But E-Ray, man, what are you doing? Huh? You need to put on some weight, buddy. Um, anyway, you have to make sure your bugs are um, gut loaded and you water your bugs like my dubia roaches, the colony. I will water those. I don't I miss my bugs. I don't use crystals um, with my uh, <clears throat> with my worms, horn worms, wax worms, uh, mealworms, stuff like that. I'll miss them uh, late in the evening once I'm done feeding. So I will give them water, too. If you sit and watch. Your bugs, your super worms, mealworms, wax worms, all of them will sip up that water. They will go to that water and be at that water getting it. So I make sure my bugs have a lot of hydration. I make sure my greens have lots of moisture. And that's how I, that's my main way that I hydrate my bearded dragons. Now, more to the critical side. When you feel like your dragon is dehydrated, I recommend getting some uh, Reptiboost and uh, go ahead and mix it with some uh, Pedialyte with zinc, unflavored. If you must have a flavor, you can get strawberry, but I do rec I highly recommend unflavored Pedialyte. What you want to do is you want to mix uh, the Pedialyte and the Reptiboost together, just like the Reptiboost package says. And then, oh, actually... Use half uh, Pedialyte, half water. 
and then you do exactly like that package says on the repti boost and um you draw it up in a syringe you put it inside of the mouth of the drip look at her she thinks she's about to eat she's greedy you put it you put it at the uh corner of their mouth and they will eat it they'll take it you see she was trying to take it but guys like e-ray they don't want want to be force fed so you have to give it you have to make sure they get it all of this stuff right here is from my gecko tank. I was cleaning it up. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. But um, anyway, if you feel like you need to go to the extreme to hydrate your dragon and um, do it yourself, bye, honey. I'll see you later. Um, If you feel like you need to go to the extreme and hydrate that dragon on your own, then I do recommend Pedialyte um, with zinc and unflavored you know what i'm saying oh what what you're not getting none where are you going so you have to get a uh, pedialyte with zinc unflavored i'm gonna let him go at azula look at that look at that uh isopod i'm gonna let him go at azula when uh azula come around and she's done uh laying around and being a, a lazy bum see what he can do but yeah, if it gets to the extreme where you feel like you need to, um, look, he's in his water for no reason. <clears throat> if you feel like it gets to the extreme where you need to hydrate that dragon, get that um, Pedialyte with zinc. I guess she's seeing. She's waving. I think uh, Naga wants some. Like, I'm being real. I I'm not going to give her any because um, the guy who's supposed to give it to her isn't ready. But this girl is, like, she's been ready, man. As soon as she hit 10 months, she's a year old now, and I think she's ready. But I, I want to wait till she's a year and a half, two years old. Anyway, so if you feel like that dragon is dehydrated and needs moisture ASAP, you can do the syringe, the baby syringe, like medical um, medicine syringe. You can use water. You can use straight-up water. Or you can use the Pedialyte, like I say. Also, with the bass, um, my dragons. Let's give, uh, let's give this guy his worm. See if he wants them. Yeah, he already ate today. He ate uh, some mealworms. I think seven mealworms and like uh, four or five wax worms. Let's see what he do with these. But um, yeah, man, you just gotta make number one. Make sure your greens are hydrated, wet and moist. Number two, make sure your bugs are hydrated. Give your bugs water um, and feed them. You know what I'm saying? Gut load your bugs. It's very important. Um, that's number two. Number three um, is baths. So with baths, within the baths, man, y'all know that I don't, my, my, my adult dragons only get one bath, one to two baths a month, depending on if they're real dirty. You can look at this guy and see he's not filthy. Like, he's clean. He hasn't had a bath in maybe two weeks now, but I bathe him once a month. And he digs in, he digs in dirt and all that. You know what I'm saying? Just wipe him off and keep it going. But dragons, I mean, y'all can bathe them if y'all want to. Y'all can bathe them more than once a month if you want to, but it's really not needed. Bearded dragons... Bearded dragons are uh, are like when you look at them in the wild and you watch Beardy, the um, Beardy veterinarian, you can't, he'll show you, you know, there's bodies of water where they are in Australia, even puddles of water when it rains, and they do not use them. They just don't. You know what I'm saying? They do not use the water at all. They avoid the water at all costs. Um, he has a video up on his channel. And he's showing you where they avoid the water at all costs. But in captivity, it is different. So I will say, if you want to bathe your dragon on a consistent basis, just do it every two weeks. Don't, like, adult dragons don't need to be bathed every day. Even Fang and Aang. Aang just hit seven months, and I believe Fang is still six. So I have to look at the calendar. Um... Even these dragons at juvenile ages, I don't bathe them every day. Like, it's crazy to me that I see people do that. Even with the shed, like, 
um, Aang is shed, and a lot of people will go crazy about his shed, and they'll bathe him every day until the shed comes off. I don't do that, man. Bearded dragons are dry shedders. None of my dragons have ever had issues shedding dry. So, there's that. But, anyway, I'm going to go back over it. Number one is the water bowl. Number two, and, and these numbers is probably thrown off again, which I don't care, but water bowl, moisten your greens, wet your greens, water your greens before you give it to your dragon. Um, then baths. Then ultimately, you have the syringe feeding, the force feed. So, like I said, you can start off with water, then you can move on to the Pedialyte. The Pedialyte unflavored with zinc. Where are you going? Huh? Anyway, man, I'm about to go because it's getting hot, man. I'm about to cut the fan back on. Also, uh, that's something I, I always tell you guys with the water bowls. If you keep water bowls in your tank, Make sure, you know, with the humidity, like a lot of people be concerned about the humidity, but if you are using a fan, if you are using a fan or a ceiling fan or something, man, it'll it'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? The the great airflow trumps high humidity, man. Remember that. I, I tell y'all that all the time. Go watch my old videos. Make sure y'all thrash the like, pound, and subscribe. Go follow my Instagram at Dragons of Thunder, man. Uh, Y'all be good, man. Um, stay tuned for that giveaway. And don't forget, GrubTerror.com. Um, Dragons of Thunder 10. Go read the description. That code will be in the description box. And um, I love y'all. Peace, love, and soul, and all that good stuff. And it's your boy, Dragons of Thunder. I'm Audi 5000. Guanguala.